So it's his cabaret and he introduces uh, his younger self and he casts all the characters and he gives us the audio visual. Um, but it, it, yeah, it's, so there's a fair bit of dancing, there's a fair bit of uh, audio visual and it's a very active production. For the first time I was a player in my own country at the highest level, but my mind was on bigger things. What's the good of being a big frog in a small pond, eh? Huh? Fine for my father, not for me. When you're writing a character, you try and draw back from your own personal feelings about the character and you try and be the character as you're writing them. Um, I once wrote um, a play called Influence about a very right-wing shock jock. Um, and rather than sit back and condemn him, I myself became the right-wing shock jock. Uh, and had a ball while I was inhabiting that character. And the same thing happened with, with Rupert. Ah, Lord Cato, an investment banker. One of the few upper class poms whose mental capacities haven't been severely eroded by inbreeds. Tried to be judgmental writing the play. I've written about the man, a complex character who's achieved uh, uh, amazing things. And I've let him tell his story as much as I can through his own voice. So it's not me judging him. Uh, the audience has got to sit back and see whether they believe uh, that he is uh, a person who's done great good for the world as he believes he is. Your marriage is over and you're still harboring that sort of ambition. Ruth and Chloe are still his children. Uh, uh, okay, that's sort of where things are now. Now we'll see how it got to all that. There's things that you can get away with in theatre that you can't get away with on, on film or TV. And so that's firmly the place we're in. I'm not interested in, in mimicry as such. I'm interested in the way great actors can capture the essence of a moment and so you can glimpse a person, the real person. I'm trying to cover 60, 70, 80 odd characters and 60 odd years, uh, there's a recklessness in doing that. It doesn't make any sort of well-made theatrical sense off you go, make a world where all of this is possible and that's where the idea of, of cabaret and, and Brecht's techniques and, and vaudeville and music hall all, all came from, is really an attempt to try and bottle this whole story into one slightly contained stage.